Welcome to a brand new episode of Timmy in Chandler. And today we are going to go uh, back into Chandler again. This is chapter number six, I think. And I'm going to try to get into the dungeon. I want to get the Berserk. I want to get the Soul Ring. I want to get that stuff. I'm also going to try out my 60 card deck. And I still need a Crawl Worm. I so want to find a Crawl Worm. Why is it so hard to find a Crawl Worm? But before I jump in, first, a message from our sponsor, 3 for 1 Trading. Here we go. 3 for 1 Trading is one of Europe's leading Magic the Gathering retailers. Their online shop has a fantastic selection of high-end Magic cards, especially for vintage, legacy and, yes, yes, old school Magic players. They now exclusively offer my community free, fully insured and fast worldwide shipping on all their high-end singles, full sets and out-of-print sealed products. They upload new cards every Wednesday and have weekly sale offers and reductions waiting just for you. Use my code TIMMY to get free worldwide shipping on your first order over $500 or euros. Have fun ordering those cards and thank you 341 Trading for sponsoring this video. Okay, and now let's uh, jump into Chandelar so Timmy goes green. There we go. Um, let's have a look. Where are we at? Crack hole. Next duel I get a soul net. Okay. Ah, yeah. I was tweaking my 60 card deck. So this is my 60 card deck right now. It's full of high casting cost spells. I think I really need a Mana Flare and get some more Lanawar Elves to cast all this stuff, but... This is one of those decks, when you have enough mana, it's fun, but it can also be really tough to kind of play with it, because it's so slow, and if your mana is screwed, you can't really do anything. Um, anyway, we'll, we'll just we'll try it out, we'll see how it goes. Uh, red Amulets for blue cards, no thank you. A crack Hold. I think I want to kind of discover the north a little bit more. So let's just go north. Ooh, south. Okay, so maybe we gotta go south. Shellcliff Temple, I think it's set. So we're gonna go to the temple. Gonna go up a little bit. Let's go up. Buy cards. Land Leech is Grey Ogre. And what's this? Untamed Wilds. Oh, this is actually kind of good in my deck, I think. Let's find a spot for the Untamed Wilds. Untamed Wilds. I'd love some mana fixing because it's such an expensive deck to play. Uh, what are we going to take out? That's always questionable. Maybe the Bottle of Suleiman because I'm still pretty low on life. I would love to make a coin flip deck still, by the way, so I really would love a mana clash. Travel north. Ooh, this is the one we want. North to Windless Tower. Wait, wait, where's Windless Tower? This Windless Temple? I'm just gonna go north. I wanna get to Windless Tower. That is so important. Okay, buy cards. Inferno, Kelden Warlord. That's such a cool card. For now, we're gonna buy. I'm buying way too much stuff, by the way. Begin a quest, return here two red amulets. No, thank you. Windless. Was it Temple? What was it again? Windless Tower, I think. Anyway, we had to go north, right? So we're just gonna keep going north. We'll find it. We'll go in here. Buy cards and hints if you combine the Viper with Dwarven Warriors. And I have. I'm gonna buy you. Um, that's good to buy as well. Let's have another look at our deck because we bought quite some cards. Uh, got the Marsh Viper, but I'm not gonna play that just yet. Can the Giant Spider take out my Wall of Ice? Mm -hmm. That's about it. Any red cards? Oh yeah, Kelden Warlord I got. That's a cool card. I wanna play Kelden Warlord. Um, what to take out though? I'm gonna take out the Sylvan. I feel Sylvan is just not really good in this Chandelar environment. Um, I'm gonna quest one green, no thank you. So let's continue up north. Ooh, okay, agreed. Sure, I'll duel. I will duel you. First battle of the episode, here we go. Play first. 
Okay, um, what do I have? Mountain, Forest, Forest, Gaius, Leech, Lightning Bolt, and Yoshin Soldier, okay. That's not too bad, you know, I can go turn three, I can play the Yoshin, I've got a Bolt if there's some early pressure. So we just have a nice and slow start. Let's play the Yoshin. Next turn I can play the Giant Spider. How much is Gaius Leech to play? Six mana, okay. Mm -hmm. Onulet. Let's attack, let's see what he does. Just gonna block, okay, okay, Mr. Tough Guy. Pass the turn. I, maybe I should have played Battering Ram and then banned with Battering Ram. There's the attack. Choose blockers. Um, I think he has a Giant Grove, so I'm going to block just with the Ocean. Or shall I double block? No, I'm not going to double block. I'm just going to block with the Ocean. Yeah, because now I only... Um, oh, he's going to put the Giant Grove on the Ocean Soldier. Okay, whatever, man. The AI has been a little bit strange lately because I am playing at the highest level and I had a few games where the AI was like top notch, but lately, like last episode when I played Vampire Lord, I don't know if you remember, it was also kind of odd with the AI. And to be honest, I want the AI to play like at its top. You know, I want to be challenged. I like that. And sometimes they can do really, really interesting plays, but yeah, so far. It's not great. There's a fungus or okay. So it's a two two, and it can get counters if it gets damage. Um, I think I'm just gonna attack because I can band. I can go in a band. There we go. Gage just taking the damage. Uh, I'm gonna play Gage Leech. Which is a 4-4 four, four now. So Gaius Leech can turn uh, lands into forests, which is pretty cool. It's pretty unique. Mm. Just attack, I think. Wow, 7 already. Let's play Lana Elves. Pass the turn. So far, so good. Hey, Jambazar, love the sound. It's one of those uh, cards you only find in Chandelar. Ooh, and a Sengir, that is good. Sengir Vampire, that is good. Um, hmm. Yeah, that kind of that kind of ruins my plans. Um, I think I'm still gonna attack though. This in a band. Ooh, wait, if I attack with this, it's gonna be really small, right? That's uh, that's a problem. I clicked on it. Now I cannot take it back anymore. Because when you attack, it has power and toughness equal to the amount of force that the opponent controls, which is, what, three? Yeah, exactly. So now I have to use my lightning bolt. I have to do it. So yeah, that was stupid. Sisters of the Flame. Um, let's attack like this. Okay. Oh, I could have used my Soul Net. Of course, I got the Soul Net. Which I think I got from the last opponent last time, right? Was that the Enchantress? I think it was the Enchantress. I do like the art with the dragon on this one. I think it's cool. Um... Okay, let's just, let's just all attack and we're gonna attack separately. If he has a fog, he has a fog, okay. Um, do I want the cards? You know what, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna take the dungeon crew. South of Shale Cliff Keep, Ivory Tower and a Wheel of Fortune, okay. Thanks for the info. Shell Cliff Tavern. Take a green land spell east. 
I want a mana. So I gotta go back though, that's a bit annoying. Or east, Shell Cliff Tavern, that's over there, right? Or was it the keep? Shell Cliff Tavern. All oh, these names are so similar. Ooh, here's Windless Tower where I can get, I need to go to Windless Tower. This is where I can get that sword. Speak to the wise man. Okay, well, thank you, wise man. Um, okay. Trade black amulets for colorless cards. Hmm. Shellcliff Keep, and I can go to Windless Tower. Shellcliff Tower. Um, it's over there, and then I can go to Windless Tower after, I guess. Um, do I want another Yoshin Soldier? It's maybe nice, like I can complete the playset. Um, okay, I will go to the tavern. Okay, I'll first go to the tower. You convince me. The tower is right there. Ooh, mind stealer is tough. I will duel you, mind stealer. I really want to get that sword. That sword, what it does is if a, if a village is under attack, I can use a white uh, gem to go to that village and protect it. So it's very important. Um, because if the wizards have, what is it, five villages? One color is five or four or five, then they win the game. So you gotta make sure they don't get too many villages. Um, this hand is pretty bad, by the way. I've got two forests and that's it. I've got two Joshan soldiers that I can cast if I have another land. But the rest of the hand is very like taxi. Look at that, wow. It could be an issue. Mm -hmm. This is a problem. Oh, mind twist? Seriously? Are you You know what? I'm going to make a screenshot. It doesn't happen often, luckily, that you get mind twisted in Shamala. No, I want to make a screenshot, but now it's gone. Okay, whatever. I'll make a screenshot later. Um, but yeah, wow, mind twist. I really don't like that card. It's awful, but I respect that it's part of the game. I don't whine about it. Well, I do whine about it, but I don't, you know, hold it against my opponent. Oh, wow, mind stealer getting back my, uh, oh, that's cool. Getting back my Clockwork Beast, yeah. I'm, I'm in trouble, actually. Um, let's see, I could go... Maybe I should play a Regeneration on Yoshin so I can block. I think that's the best thing to do. I mean, I could have gone Clay Statute and take the damage with the six. Um, but it's better to have some protection. Look at that. Wow, 8-5. Steel Artifact? No, no, no. This Mind Stealer, man. Oh, dude. I respect his style. I have to be honest. I respect his style. Wow, that Mind Stealer deck is very strong. Okay, go for Clay Statue. Oh, man. It's looking so bad for me. I'm lucky that he chose to um, to pump the uh, Clockwork Beast up again. Um, I think I should do nothing because I want to be able to regenerate my clay statue to block the attack with the Clockwork Beast. Um, and if I cast Giant Spider, I don't have enough mana to regenerate. So I'm just going to be a little bit passive. Uh, exactly. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm absolutely losing, but... Oh man, and he gains life every time I tap a forest. Life tap is a really cool card. Oh, whoa, look at this, more, more problems. Decks like this make me, make me wanna build like a blue-black deck now straight away. With all these cool cards that he's playing. Very, very cool. Um, wow, wow, I could go Gaze Leech, but that doesn't really solve anything. So I'm gonna go Giant Spider. And then I have enough mana over to, to regenerate my statue. And I mean, the, the, the Sengir Vampire is going to attack and hurt me. Exactly. Going to put me on two. Yeah, I'm not going to block yet with the spider. Next turn, if I have to, I'll block with the spider. Oh, of course. 
more problems. That's awesome. Uh, let's go. I'm just gonna cast this gas leech because why not? I've lost this this game. Wow, he is kicking my ass. I mean, sir, I salute you. Oh wow, volcanic eruption. I love this deck. I love this deck. Um, I have a match on um, on the channel where I use a ring of Maruf to pick up a volcanic uh, eruption to kill my opponent. I'll put I'll put a, a link here. I'll, I'll pop up. Oh man, I lost the battle. Okay, I'll duel you, Tusk Guardian. I don't mind. I'm losing the toss. Oh, God. Okay, what do I have? Lightning Bolt, Mountain, Sisters of the Flame, Bandering Ram, Regeneration, Yoshin Dwarf. Okay, I need I need lands. That's that's the most important thing here. If I can just get one land. Wow, a Sheevan. Sheevan's cool, but not useful right now. I remember those revised boxes that had a Sheevan on it. They were just fantastic. Okay, Holy Strength, sure. Gonna attack, so of course I'm gonna bolt. The problem is the bolt, that's all I can do. Uh, okay, that's at least the land, so I can go Battering Ram. Like next turn, if I can find another land, I can play Yoshin Soldiers. If it's a mountain, I can play Sisters of the Flame. It's even better. Unfortunately, I'm draw a Shapeshifter. Shapeshifter Dwarven Warriors, very cool combo. Okay, luckily my opponent is not casting anything. I'm first gonna attack. And in my second main, I'm gonna go for Yoshi. And passes a turn. Yoshin Soldier in the house, in the house, in the house. I like I like to add, I like to play Yoshin Soldier with Castle, because under the new rules, if the creature doesn't tap, it keeps the bonus. So Yoshin is then a 1-6, which is pretty sweet. Um, let's go Forest. Um, let's attack again first. I just need a second red. I can cast the Sisters of the Flame and I can get closer to the six mana I need for the Sheevan and the Shapeshifter. Hey, War Mammoth. Let's ban because why not? Let's attack. I mean, so far the Tusk Guardian is like doing nothing. The thing that worries me though with the Guardian, he plays with Force of Nature. So that card can just come out of nowhere. He needs like one more green, he can cast a force. Okay, so this is sort of flame. Let's attack. But I think I'm pretty safe. Even if he finds a green and plays a force, I think I have this game. I can just attack with everything and then win it. So feeling pretty confident after uh, two losses in a row. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Um, I think I should just attack with everything. So you're gonna ban this. I think this should be enough. Hey, there we go. Um, I'll take the cards. I, I feel I need to sell some stuff. Trade white amulets for red cards. No, thank you. Buy cards. Actually, I shouldn't buy cards. I need to sell cards for that sword that I want to buy. Um, let's have a look. Okay, so I've got a lot of white stuff. So, so. Ooh, 480. Wow. That is nice. Um, 120. 180 for the ship, but I'm not going to sell it. Um, the Guardian V is still only 100. Artifacts that I could sell. Ank of Mishra I can sell. I'm not going to play that anyway. Copper Tablet I could sell. Although if I make a super aggressive deck, could be useful. The Battle Gear. I guess I could sell the Battle Gear. 
Hey, let's play the other Yoshin Soldier. Why not? Uh, okay, 60 cards in deck. Got enough money. Buy cards. I guess I should buy the factory, right? Wonderlust. Should I buy the Wonderlust? It's cool. I'm going to buy the Wonderlust. My problem is that, I don't know if you recognize this, but every card gives me like a new idea. Like when I think of Wonderlust, I think of this, this passive deck, maybe combine it with Underworld Dreams and have this full of enchantments that deal one damage while you kind of hide behind the walls. Like every card always gives me an idea, uh, but I should, you know, try to focus on the strategy. Hey, yes, I want to pay the gold. I got the sword. I'm so happy. And now we got to go to that tavern. Manduran. Actually, Dance the Scimitar, I think, is better than the Earth's Adventure. So I'll take the ante, man. I'll do it. I'll take the ante. It's a good day today for Chandler, by the way, because it's raining like crazy outside. It's pouring. Cats and dogs. Uh, start the duel. What do I have? Uh, mountain forest and just a lot of stuff. Okay, battering ram turn two. I feel like battering ram is in 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 all my opening hands this episode. Ooh, mox jet. That's impressive stuff. It always has something special, right? When you see power nine being played. There's a willow. Another willow. Okay, going full defense. I don't mind because my deck is so slow. Battering Ram! There we go, gentlemen. I feel I should have made this card a 2-1. Sephir Falcon. Mountain, gonna play Dwarven Warriors. Cast a turn. If I can time this Pyrotechnics right, I could kill a lot of creatures. It's a pretty big if, and I'm, I'm far away from it yet. It's five mana. I've got three now, so. Next turn, I can make my Battering Ram unblockable. Ooh, carry Nance. That's a problem. That is a problem. Uh, wow. Look at this. All I can do is cast the Helm of Chatsuk. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not going to attack, because I feel like I need my defense. That carry Nance is going to be a problem. Okay, let's use the helm. Let's give my Dwarven Warriors banding. Done, choose blockers. This one. No, 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 no. One mana and hopefully I can divide because it's got banding, right? Done. <laughs> Okay, carrying ants assigned two damage. So I think my battering ram is going to die. I think dwarven warriors could be good, like later in the game with those willows that can make creatures unblockable. Oh, but it's not looking great for me. Oh man, this is not good. I really needed a land so I could cast at least a hill giant or something. Uh oh. Another mox, sure, sure, play another mox. You know what, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna throw my, my dwarf in front of the bus. I'm not gonna do it. Okay, at least, at least he only pumps with one, could be worse, I'm on 10. Does it mean that he's got a second play? Yes, the dragon has another play. Ooh, a forest, finally. Um, Hill giant? You may be wondering why not the War Mammoth with Trample. The reason is that I'm thinking about putting the Hill Giant in front of the bus or trying to stop the Carrion Ants. Although maybe I should do Dwarven Warriors and then next turn double block. That's probably better. Oh, wow. This is so bad. This is so bad. Um, I got a block here. The Bloodlust is so good. I'm on three, okay. I'm going to play Carnivorous Plant. I think I'm dead either way, but you never know. Sometimes the AI does stupid stuff and you stay alive. Casting a Tomb. Yep, dead. dead. Losing my Urza's Adventure. 
It's not cool. No, 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 no. I don't want to battle against you. Buy cards, nothing here. Speak to the wise man. If you seek the green amulet, I know. Hey, there's a dungeon. The people are pleased to receive the force spell. You're rewarded with a fine green amulet. Trade green amulets for black cards. No, thank you. Another giant spider. Should I get another giant spider? I'm just gonna buy them all. I'm gonna buy them all. Uh, I think I'm gonna play the giant spider. Why not? I'm gonna play living artifact. Why not? Um, buy some food. Let's have a look at the dungeons, right? So this dungeon is the one we saw. Library of Alexandria, nice. No artifacts allowed. Life loss carried over. Orcish Oriflame permanently in effect. Ooh, so if there are no artifacts allowed, I should probably make a deck without artifacts. Let's see if we can do that. Why not? Let's, let's see if we can make something without artifacts. Um, first things first, I guess we need lands. Nice music, nice, nice quiet music. I think we're gonna go for... Shall I just go for a six, let's just go for a 60 card deck, why not? I'm sure I have enough. Go for a factory. Let's go for strip mine. So this is kind of our mana base. Um, these are the creatures, right? Yeah. Let's look at the creatures. Let's put the spiders in. Let's put the force in. The warlord. Lanawar elves for sure. I only have one Lanawar elf. That's not good. Dirtwood boars. Warriors could be useful. Shivan, of course. Asp. Some mana fixing. The mammoth. Okay, so how many creatures? Have? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It's not that much. Okay, so these are my creatures. I feel living artifact could be good. Oh no, there are no artifacts, of course. Duh. Regeneration could be good. Wanderlust could be useful. Mm, Lightning Bolt, of course. Inferno. You know what? I'm going to play Inferno. I think it's a cool card. Uh, Sandstorm, because a lot of smaller creatures. Um, Pyrotechnics. Desert Twister, absolutely. Ice Storm. Untamed Wilds. Tranquility against the uh, Orcish Orflame. Stream of Life or some life gain. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look at what we have left. A lure, I guess. Hmm. Maybe I should make it a 40 card deck. Then we need less mana, then we only need... Like 17 mana, maybe. So now we've got 16, the factory and strip. So then we want 18. I think it should be fine. Now we need to cut six cards. Let's cut the stream. Mm. Although stream of life could be good because there's life loss is taken over. Um, Let's do Pyro, no, uh, Inferno out. Pyrotechnics in, but Inferno out. Um, hmm. Uh, 45 cards. Uh, what should I take out? It's hard, it's tough. Let me take the lure out. Uh, Let's take the Wanderlust out. I feel Wanderlust is not that good. Um, maybe take the Force out. No, I can't take the Force out. I'll take Gaius Leech out. Sorry, Gaius Leech. 
Two more cards. We gotta cut two more cards. Okay, I'll cut the Untamed Wilds, because I think we'll be fine with the mana. Um, one last one we gotta take out. Um, I mean, I wanna play with Sandstorm, you know? This is gonna be fun. Uh, maybe just take out the Hill Giant. Or the Dwarven Warriors, because I don't have that many creatures with a low... I'm going to take out the Dwarf. Okay, 40. We're at 40. Uh, I'm going to save in case it crashes. At least we got, got it saved. Uh, buy some food, and uh, I'm going to go into the dungeon. Wish me luck. Wait, what did it say? Ring of the Guardian, Treffle East. Sure, but we're first going to go in here. No, not the Lord of Faith. I'll, I'll pay you money. Never again, the Lord of Faith. Ooh, we're in the dungeon. We're in the dungeon. Altar of the Cyclops. Wow, two opponents. Uh, let's just go there. You encounter a sorcerer. Hey, I won the toss. I want to play first. Let's see. I got forest. Mountain, Dirkwood Boar, Sheevan Mountain, and Aspen Alonor. Wow, I'm loving this. Um, I think I'm gonna go for the Aspen. I'm gonna go aggressive. Also because I don't have a three drop, so. Yeah. I'm liking this plan. Don't have a one drop, don't have a one drop, don't have a one drop, which is highly unlikely, but don't have a one drop, don't have a one drop. I want to deal damage with the Asp. Oh, of course you got a one drop. But I'll, I'll trade for the Balloon Brigade. I don't mind. Um, let's just attack and uh, see if he wants to trade. Okay, doesn't want to trade, sure. No worries. Now he's got an Asp counter. Are you gonna pay? Oh, he takes the damage. Take the damage. Now remember, life loss is carried over, which is a big problem for me, right? So if he's gonna, you know, attack me, he's got the aura flame bonus, so he's gonna attack me for two, so I'm gonna drop to 14. Or he's not attacking at all. Um, I'm gonna attack. Ooh. And look, the Asp counter stay on. That's pretty cool. Giant spider, pay one. There we go. So now he's got to pay two. Is that how it works? Wow, this asp is insane. I think, does it work like that in, in the paper magic under current rules? I don't think it does. I don't think that the counter stays on you, but I could be wrong. I need to read this card again. What I do know is that you can pay for the um, counter as soon as you have it, so also in the opponent's turn, for example, you don't have to wait until your upkeep. Um, oh, now he pays for it. Okay, you see, because now he's paying for it in his own turn. If he can find a, if he finds a goblin king, by the way, I am in big trouble. Um, what to do? What to do? I could go. I, I maybe just Kelvin Warlord and next turn attack with the Warlord with regeneration on it. Or should I be aggressive and go with the Asp and the Spider? I think I'm going to be aggressive because if he finds a Goblin King, I'm in serious trouble. Okay, so he's going to trade. I'm going to play this one. At least it's a 3-3. That Hurl Jackal could be relevant, by the way, because I have regeneration in hand. Ooh, he's going to deal damage. I was afraid of this. Hmm, I am not happy. I am not happy. Winds of change, okay. I don't mind. Ooh, that sandstorm, that's gonna be so good. Oh, ho, ho, that sandstorm. That is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm not gonna play out anything. I wanna have that sandstorm. Um, Although I've got enough mana to go Sisters of the Flame and keep a mana open for sandstorm, let's do that. Also because it bumps my Warlord. And I'm going to attack with my Kelden Warlord. Take it. I think next turn I, I should also attack with the Spider. Because then he thinks that he can he can attack with the Goblin Balloon Brigades. That would be kind of cool. Oh man. 
I'm on 14, the sorcerer's on five. I think I'm doing well here. Hey, also Sisters of the Flame. Um, I'm gonna go Giant Spider and Kelvin Warlord. Oh, he wants to trade. Okay, I love it. Uh, fast effects, assign damage, done. One and two. And yeah, I don't want to play anything out. I want to keep Sandstorm mana open. I please, can you attack with the Balloon Brigade so I can use my Sandstorm? That would be amazing. Just give him flying. You can hit me for four. It's a good deal. Ooh, bolt. It's a bolt. I actually had enough mana, by the way, to end cast Giant Spider and cast Sandstorm. Because the Sister of the Flame could tap for a red. I forgot about that. Hey, but you're doing it. I love it. Oh, yeah. Sandstorm action. Woohoo! Sandstorm unlocked. Uh, let's cast Giant Spider. Make my Keldon Warlord a 3 3. I really enjoy playing with the Warlord, by the way. It's pretty cool. Um, another card that's been like in my binder forever. I need to, I need to, I need to play with the Warlord. Mana barbs. Oh man, this is so annoying. So I shouldn't tap. I just, I don't have to tap because I'm gonna win anyway. So there's no need for me to tap my mana. Hey, okay, so we've won a question. What is the total casting cost of Nightmare? I think it's one black and five, isn't it? Yay, correct. Uh, okay, a dice, get a giant spider. Ooh, that's good. Um, let's, let's fight against the goblin. Hey, winning the toss. Yes, I want to play first. Ooh. Uh, regeneration, not the giant spider. Um, hmm, I'm gonna take a mulligan too. So much lands. Okay, so now at least I got Barbary Apes I could cast pretty quick. Uh, let's attack with the spider. And a force of nature in hand, that's pretty cool. Force of Nature, 8-8 eight, eight, Trample. Force of Nature. Blue Brigade. Um, let's go Forest. Let's first attack. 14, let's go Barbary Apes. Pass the turn. So Barbary Apes, basically the Grizzly Bears. It's a 2-2. Two, two. Oh, I should have blocked. It didn't give it flying. I should have taken the trade. Stupid. Got to protect my life because it's life loss carried over. Uh, let me think. So I could go mountain. Um, I think I'm just going to attack with the Barbary Apes. Ooh, taking the block. Okay, this is a good trade for me. I'm fine. Exchanging one. Ooh, Goblin Lord. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, it's got Mountain Walk now. I'm like, why can I not block? It's got Mountain Walk. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm in trouble. Uh, stripping my own land is not going to help. Uh, Keldon Warlord. I'm in serious trouble now. I'm like in serious, serious trouble. Oh no, I'm on six, I'm on a two turn clock. I need to draw my uh, my lightning bolt. Uh, what could I do? I mean, I cannot block them. I should just attack with both, cast warm. I'm dead next turn, I'm dead actually. Oh wow, I'm lucky. Uh, done, one and two. Then I cast War Mammon. I am really lucky here. But then again, I'm gonna, I have to life losses carried over. So this is gonna be really tough. Oh, not another one, no! 
Oh God, this is horrible. Um, wait, wait, I want to tap that, didn't give it flying. Oh, why am I so bad at this game? I just need to think before I click. That's the whole, that's the whole mindset I have to apply on myself. Oh God, um, okay. But I'm optimistic. Carnivorous plant. And uh, I'm just going to pass the turn and hope for the best. Oh, the Warlord is non wall creature. So it's not even get the pump from this dude. Okay, whatever, man. Uh, okay, yeah. It's flying. Now you give it flying. Now you give it flying. Oh, God, I'm just dead. I'm dead. I cannot block it. It's got flying. Oh, I'm kicked out of the dungeon. Oh, it's gone. Oh, this is so bad. Okay. Uh, if you combine the circle protection green with force of nature. Yeah, that's pretty cool, but no thank you. Should I buy the Colossus? Why not? Because then I have three. I'm going to go towards four. Ah, oh, man. This is really a bummer, you know? Like, my deck... Let's put the Barbary Apes in. I'm going to go to 60. Or, wait. Clay Statue is better. Clay Statue is better. And I think something's under attack, so let's just go there. Now we can see the sword in action. Hey, duel the vampire lord. <laughs> yeah, this is really annoying. The kick and kicked out of the dungeon with zero treasure. That was uh, it's a bit disappointing. Uh, let's see, what do I have? Mountain. No forests for that untamed wild. So that's a bit annoying. I like the art of this untamed wild, by the way. I like the original art also. I think by Nene Thomas from Legends, the, the art. But this is pretty good too. Hmm. This hand is a tad bit problematic. I, I need, if I can get a forest next turn, I could go forest untamed wilds to find maybe another forest. And then hopefully if I draw into another land, another land, I can cast Cheevan eventually. But uh, it's not looking great for me. Oh, carrying ants. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, this is so bad. <laughs> okay, so I get kicked out of the, um, the dungeon. And now I'm getting my ass kicked by uh, the Vampire Lord. At least, okay, that's, thank you, Vampire Lord. I appreciate it. You're dealing zero damage with your carrying ants. That's kind of odd. Uh, let's go mountain and I cannot do anything. I need a green source. I need a forest. <sighs> let's hope that he's not going to pump the carrying ants again. Yeah, make it an O2. That makes absolute sense. Uh oh. Oh, look at that. A 6 8. Oh, no mercy. Let's play the Sisters of the Flame. And then I have a difficult decision to make. Am I going to jump? Or am I going to keep the mana so I can cast Clay Statue? Hmm. Okay. I think I'm, I'm not going to... I think I'm just going to take the damage. Luckily, it's only one. I'm kind of lucky that he plays so stupidly. I'm on 9. He's on 14. Oh, of course. I'll play some more stuff. Uh, let's cast Clay Statue. I mean, he's taking damage from his own mana vaults. Maybe I can win somehow with that mana vault plan. Wow, look at this. Uh, I'm gonna go Clay Statue Carrying Ants. I mean, it's tempting to go for the queen, but then it would take like three more damage. I'm already on six. Oh God, I'm so, I'm so losing this. Um, yeah, Clay Statue, what else can I do? I mean, if I don't draw into any green mana, I mean, I cannot play out half my deck. A weakness. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. 
Weakness is a great card against Clay Statue. Oh no! Losing it. Okay, at least it's only a battering ram. Could have been worse. Oh no. I'm gonna fight you again. Uh, I'll the Vak Vak Onulet Giant Spider? I'll do it. I'll do it. At least winning the toss. Let's play first. Um. Wow. Wow. He's starting with a hippie, really? I feel like this is one of those Lord of Faith episodes. You know? God. This is so bad. Um, forest, there's nothing I can do. Big sigh. <sighs> Nothing I can do. Losing a card, taking damage. I mean, a hippie is hard enough to deal for with my deck on, on a normal turn three, but from the start, it's like it's close to impossible. Oh, you're carrying ants. Wow, these carrying ants, man. These carrying ants are killing me all the time. Ay, 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 ay. I mean, uh, I love this part of the game when it's still quite early in the game, but I also like hate it because it's you get your ass kicked so much. Oh, but hey, what's a game without a little bit of challenge, right? Would be kind of boring. Uh, okay, Giant Spider, finally, I can block the hippie. At least he's got mana, mana problems. I didn't even see that. Oh, are you, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Uh, I'm not gonna block. Take the damage. take the damage. Of course you take my regeneration. Of course you do. Of course you do. God. Oh, man. I mean, I could crumble the vault, but I feel like. Oh wow. Oh wow. Um, no fast attacks. I guess I gotta block the ants, right? Man. The giant spider was my only like way. Oh, of course, another one. Great. That's awesome. I'm so happy for you. Damn man. I just I just is it me or am I losing a lot this game? This episode, I mean. Bring it on. Bring it on, kill me now. Kill me now, it's okay. Oh Lord, have mercy. I'm losing a spider. And an Isle of Vakwak, and oh yeah, of course, I had all that stuff. Okay, let's let's reconvene to the Batmobile. Oh, this is so bad. Okay, hey, Giant Grove is good. Lanarels is good. I'm happy with those cards. Um, Let's have a look. Let's put Lanowars in. John Grove. Aubrey Apes. Inferno? Why not? Did I lose a forest along the way? I need to put another forest in. I mean, is my deck really that bad? It doesn't feel that bad. I mean, is it a great deck? No, but is it that bad? I don't think it's that bad. Take the Inferno out. Begin a quest. You will reward you with a mana link. Okay, we're going to Amanax's Tavern. Where is that? Oh, it's over there. What we'll do, I'll just, I'll, okay, now I'll just first go to the tavern and then I'll, I'll try to free the village. Uh, let's change ante. And I really want to get the giant growth. Duel the Tusk Guardian. Start the duel. So I get a mountain, forest, forest, mountain. Okay. This is, I'm, I'm not 
it's not too bad. I can go Helm of Chatsuk, turn three Yoshin, turn four Giant Spider. You know, it could be worse. Mm. Fast turn, hopefully next turn Yoshin, turn after Giant Spider, got regeneration as well in hand. Uh, let's go Mountain into Yoshin. Okay, let's first attack. Put him on 15. Play of Spider. I feel like Yoshin Soldier and Giant Spider, they're, you know, they're kind of like good, good blocking creatures. They keep you alive long enough to play the bigger stuff. Uh, oh, it could go Untamed Wild for five, but there's not really a reason. So let's go, let's first attack. Then go Giant Spider number two. I mean, the thing with the Tusk Guardian is I'm really worried about the forces of nature. But as long as he doesn't draw into the, the green mana, I kind of feel confident. And I could use a win. To be honest, Chandelar, I, I could use a win. Losing three matches in a row. Um, let's attack. Let's attack. Why not? I think I'm going to cast the Untamed Wilds. Let's do it. I mean, I could go for Yoshin, but... Okay. Hey, more mana. Uh, let's go Yoshin. Let's attack. You're on two, my friend Tusk Guardian. At least the Tusk Guardian is friendly. Like, I win most of the matches against a Tusk Guardian. Like, all those other creatures are awful. I guess the Enchantress is okay. Lord of Faith is horrible, but that Vampire Lord is also, like, he's tough. Uh, okay, so you know what we'll do, just because we can. We're gonna Desert Twister this War Mammoth. Sorry, War Mammoth. And we're gonna attack with my army. Yay! Ooh, Taiga! This is really good, this one. Take the cards. Run this amulet. Let's go here. What? Which card do you seek? 100 gold pieces. Ooh, I can buy stuff? That is awesome. Lana or else, please. Yes, I'll trade. And yes, I'll trade. This may, might, may seem odd if you're like, why does he want to get them at the Lana Wars? But I mean, mana ramp is so important. Ooh, two-headed giant. That is a cool card. Oh, it's too expensive. No. Sheevan Dragon. Also, wow, that is way expensive. Um, what could I buy that's not that expensive but good? Um, maybe Cockatrice? Okay, yes, I'll trade. Um, and Thicket Basilisk? Ooh, yes, I'll trade. I guess that's kind of it, isn't it? Oh, wait, I can also buy... Why am I only looking at creatures? Um, does it have lightning bolts? It does. Oh, I should have bought lightning bolts. Oh, I'm so stupid. I was so focused on creatures. <laughs> oh, anyway, I got I got some nice creatures. I can't complain. Um, Keldon Warlord. I could do... I could... I could... I could go for the... If I lose, it's okay. The Warlord. I mean, it's a cool card, but... I can live with that. Ooh, Lunar Elves in hand. Nice. And now I've got four Lunar Elves, by the way. Let's go Forest, Lunar Elves. Pass a turn. Nice. Now we need to have another good look at my deck with those new additions. Cockatrice, Thicket, Lunar Elves. It's really nice. Let's go mountain. You know what? I'm not gonna offer to trade because I've got the Shivan. 
And next turn I'll have five mana. The turn after that six, and I can cast Chief and Dragon and hopefully win the game. This is cool. Instant energy on a Lanor. I like it. Okay, sure, man. Deal a lot of damage. It's fine. Uh, clay statue. Tap one. Next turn, ladies and gentlemen, I can finally cast my Shivan. Oh, -ho! because of those sweet Lana Elves. Ramping up in the world. Gotta go City of Brass, cast Shivan. That's the plan. Or Mountain, Shivan Dragon. Shivan Dragon! Another giant spider. Um, let me think. If I attack, he's got two spiders, which is fine. I'm just gonna, yeah, I should attack. If he double blocks, I can just kill the spiders. Uh, done. Done. Pass turn. Okay, this, this it's looking pretty good. As long as my Shivan can stay alive, I'm good. Beautiful art on this land, by the way. If you know what basic forest that is, please let me know. I love this little, what is a Japanese temple there in the woods. I love it. Wall of Woods. Uh, let's go forest. And I'm going to attack. Giant spider. I think like the Tusk Guardian and the Druids, that's more of the level that my deck's at. Let's see what's going to happen next. Okay, Lanor Elves. Um... Dwarven Warriors could be useful here, because I can make my spider, for example, unblockable. But first, we're going to attack. Let's pump it for two. Hey, and now, now she's on three. I'm sorry, Druid, but I'm sorry, not sorry. I really need some wins. Got to work on my confidence. Play through it. Let's attack. Hey! Ooh, another Gaius Leech! That's so fun. I think I'm gonna make a deck. I need mono green with Gaius Leeches, right? Uh, where do I have to go to? Yeah, here at the tower. So let's go to the tower. Hey, the keeper is pleased to receive his brother's letter. Okay. Letter. So am I, dear brother. Black amulets for any creature. Buy cards. Only a lot of black stuff. And Gaia's Avenger that I lost. But I'm not going to buy it back. I mean, that card is too mediocre. Um, anyway, it looks like we've played for about an hour. So I'm going to call it a day. Um, I think... Let's have a look. Oh, look. The monastery is now gone. Altar of the Cyclops is somewhere else. So we have to find it again later in the game. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching. I think next uh, time I'm going to go back to that uh, Vampire Lord. I am going to try to free the village. I'm not a complete barbarian. Uh, but yeah, it's it's been tough. I'm also going to have a look at the cards and try to improve my deck further. And maybe try to go into another dungeon next time to get some more cards. I don't know. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this episode, please uh, share it on your socials. Leave a like, leave a comment. All these things are free and really help the channel move forward. Talking about moving forward, I also have my very own Patreon page. Check out patreon.com slash timmytalks for more info and find out how you can get your beautiful name into the end scroll. Now let's save it before I forget. There we go. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? The light in the morning. Way day up she rises. Way day up she rises. Way day up she rises. Her light in the morning. Put him in the long water.
Somebody can see.